Good Wednesday morning, gods. I'm Hannah Hall. And I'm Isaac Fleet, and this is your KWHS News. Juniors and seniors, college visits continue this month, but you do need to have a pass from the Counseling Center to attend. So get ready, get set, let's go. Here's the lineup. If it's Wednesday, we must have a college visit scheduled. April visits kick off today during advisory with the reps from Colorado Mesa. Next Wednesday on the 10th, the reps from Barbizon Southwest School will be here at lunch in the Lower Common. And then the following week on the 17th, the reps from Western Colorado University are scheduled to visit. If you missed any of the dates for these visits or want more information, Information, stop by the Counseling Center or check their website. GLADS, we have one more test prep session before the PSAT and SAT exams next week. Sign up now in the library for tomorrow's session. Speaking of test prep, the SAT and PSAT exams are taking place next week. Juniors, the SAT is scheduled for April 9th during periods 1 through 4. Sophomores, we will be taking the PSAT 10 on Wednesday, April 10th during periods 1 through 4. And freshmen, your PSAT 9 is happening on April 11th during periods 1 through 4. All exams will be in Bowers Gym unless you have been instructed otherwise. Glads, make sure you get a good night's rest before your exams and have something to eat. It would be wise to leave your cell phones, Apple Watches, Fitbits, and other electronically transmitting devices in your locker on your test day. Juniors and seniors, celebrate a trip around the world on April 20th at this year's prom. The dance will be held at the Doubletree World Arena from 6 p.m. to midnight. Outside guest forms are available in the main office and are due April 12th. That's next Friday. You can buy your tickets in the business office for $50, but sales only go until April 16th. Please remember, you cannot buy tickets at the door. And yes, your ticket price does include dinner. We'll be back after the sports update with information on another resource for affordable prom gestures. But first, we're throwing it to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Ethan Simon. Sports time! Welcome to Wednesday and your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Ethan Simon. Juniors and seniors, listen up. If it's spring, it must be powder puff time. Check with Miss Melton to sign up for the game. Ladies, you will be playing football, and gentlemen, you are needed to be the cheerleading squad. The game is scheduled for April 17th at 5 p.m., following the tailgate at 4 p.m. Please see Miss Melton for the details. Our WHS forensics team made a valiant effort at their state competition, but they did not bring back any hardware to share with us. They are, however, hosting a fun fundraiser at Panda Express this Friday from 4 to 7. Come by and order your orange chicken and some of your costs will be shared with the forensics team. Oh, and one more forensics announcement. Your end of the year banquet will be on April 11th at 6 p.m. See Miss Owen or Mr. Elhoffer for details. Cheerleading tryouts will be next week on April 9th through the 12th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. in the small gym. Pick up an application in the main office. Since the coach is not in the building, if you have any questions or need more details, see Miss Miles in the athletic director's office. Ladies interested in playing summer softball, Mrs. Griggs will have an informational meeting tomorrow at lunch in room 131. If you want to play but cannot make it to the meeting, please check in with Miss Griggs. Switching to tennis news, our Lady Glads met up with the St. Mary's Pirates yesterday afternoon and pillaged those Pirates with Eads. Barring a weather delay, the ladies are on the road on Friday in Pueblo when they take on Pueblo County at 9 a.m. The boys' swim and dive team will be at the Indian Invite this Friday and Saturday at Cheyenne Mountain. The boys will be in the pool on Friday at 3 45 p.m. and on Saturday the meet starts at 8:45 a.m. Go out and support the team if you are able. In baseball news, the boys in blue took on the Coronado Cougars last night at home, but the bats ran cold and they took the loss to the Cougars. If Mother Nature plays nicely, the boys will be on Big Blue on Thursday afternoon at 4 p.m. against the TCA Titans. Come out and cheer on the fellas to a victory. If you would like to travel to Golden to catch the boys on the mound this Saturday, they will be playing against the Golden Demons at 10 a.m. In soccer news, our Lady Glads were in Elizabeth last night but couldn't kick in the win. The ladies are on the road this Friday when they travel to Canyon City to take on the Tigers at 6.30 p.m. If you can come out and support them, they would appreciate it. Stay tuned this Friday when Mr. Damon will be talking to us about test anxiety ahead of the SAT and PSAT exams next week. 
In track and field news, our gladiator teams are headed to the John Tate Challenge Cup in Pueblo at Dutch Clark Stadium on Friday and Saturday. We have some great runners and competitors on this young team, so go out and support them. And finally, the Boys Basketball Awards Banquet is tonight at 6 p.m. in the WHS Cafeteria. If you need more information, please contact Coach Johnson or Coach Washington in room 115. That's all we have for you today for our gladiator sports update. I'm Ethan Simon. Now back to the news desk with Hannah and Isaac. Thanks for that update, Ethan. Glads, the Senior Council is selling Charlie stickers suitable for your water bottles, notebooks, or other places. Get them in the Counseling Center from Mr. Baldwin for only $1 while supplies last. And now it's time to hear what we're having for lunch with Miss Betsy and her crew of helpers. Happy Hump Day, everybody. A couple of things before I let you know what's for lunch today. Uh, earbuds in the line. When I'm trying to talk to you or one of my other cashiers is trying to talk to you, it makes it a little bit difficult to let us know that you even hear us. So if you could please at least remove one when you come through the line, it would be greatly appreciated. Number two, you really need to pay your lunch charges. If you're in doubt that you have them or don't have them, please come down and check. I will send out notes this week. And then we're going to have beef and broccoli for lunch today over rice. And tomorrow we're having barbecue chicken sandwiches. So hope to see you then. Have a great one. Remember them earbuds. Thanks. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, remember to add money to your lunch account in person or go online so you can stay off conditions. And speaking of conditions, we've been tossing that term around in the last few newscasts and thought we might need to explain what it means. So please, pay attention. Being put on conditions means you have an outstanding issue that needs to be cleared before the school year so the school can release your grades. Here are a few reasons you might be put on conditions. If you haven't returned a book to a classroom teacher or to the library, or maybe you still have a uniform item you need to bring back to a coach or one of the performing arts teachers. You can also be put on conditions if you haven't paid a class or lab fee or still owe fundraising money. And if you owe money on your lunch account, that would also put you on conditions. If this sounds like something you need to clear, please try to take care of these matters before exams start so you can start your summer break with no worries. And remember everyone, especially seniors, if you wait until the last minute to clear your conditions, the line will be long and you cannot leave campus until this is done. Glads, remember that April 25th is the Engineering Showcase at 6 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. Our aspiring engineers will be presenting their senior projects and activities from all the engineering classes. April 25th is also our district-wide Day Without Hate. The theme this year is Do What Is Right, Not What Is Easy. It will be celebrated all week long, and remember to wear white on April 25th in support of the cause. Glads, Many of you have checked out the dresses in Becca's closet, but there will be another opportunity to check out some different dresses on April 13th. That's when the Trinity Missionary Baptist Church is holding a formal and evening wear sale. Dresses will be available for a $20 cash donation at the church on 617 East Fountain Boulevard from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm Hannah Hall. And I'm Isaac Fleet. And this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.